Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4. Um, I just want to quickly preface this video by saying that I am sorry that I haven't been able to post as much. Um, unfortunately, I was on vacation and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it takes a very long time to edit as you guys probably know already. Uh, so it's kind of hard to balance that work, uh, you know, obviously the vacation and editing as well. Uh, I will do my best to keep trying to post as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, hopefully this video is good for you guys. Uh, and I will try to upload as much as I can. Like I said, uh, just bear with me. I appreciate all of your patience. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Redux Mod. My name is the Mana Fellowship, and without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with today's episode. Uh, so in the last episode, we made some great progress pushing into the Eurasian Union. We've taken the supply depots. We formed one front line um, <clears throat> instead of two separate lines. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, to be honest with you guys. Uh, we looked around the world. The American Civil War is almost over. Uh, just on the brinks of the American Union state winning it all. We're still at war with the Entente. Excuse me. Uh, and the socialist, or the syndicalist, um, they basically own all of Europe at this point. The Italian bloc is about to fall completely uh, with the fall of Rome and everything. Um, and yeah, so we're still going to continue our war with the Eurasian Union today. Uh, we did see... The Dominion of Delhi start to make a comeback. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to send my blue army down to go ahead and deal with it. To see if we can't, you know, try to take them out before they make a complete recovery <clears throat> down here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and press play. Uh, we're going to keep pushing where we can in today's episode uh, and see what we can do. How is our infantry equipment looking right now? Right now we're at a deficit. Uh, our research slot just opened up, so we're going to go ahead and probably take... We'll be on take. We could go ahead and build radio detection. That could help. Actually, let's start doing experimental rockets. Why not? Our streamlined streamlined line... Sorry, that increases our, prediction, our production efficiency cap and product efficiency... Ooh, excuse me, that's a lot of words. <clears throat> Product Production efficiency growth and cap. Uh, so we'll probably go ahead and do ex excavation because we got really nothing else better to do at the moment. We got more military factories, awesome. We're going to pop those on the infantry equipment, that's where we're lacking the most. Uh, the Dominion Delhi was taking care of their little uprising that they had. Uh, we're going to put the blue front on here. We're going to try to support the little pocket right here. All right, so we do have a major peace conference. The Commune of France took 25 states. Woo! Uh, Socialist Republic of Italy took 13. The Italian Federation was annexed. Albania was annexed. Bulgarian state was annexed. Romania was annexed. Serbia was annexed. Uh, now, why in the hell did Commune of France take this? Oh, my God. Okay, well... Yeah, it's a, it's quite ugly, um, but that's okay. Yeah, so again, we have the Third International basically just completely destroying uh, all of uh, Europe, basically. They own it, honestly. Um, we also had the Deutsches Middle Africa having a little tiny bit of land there, which is kind of odd. I guess you could say. We're going to put another one into infantry equipment. Another military factory. We'll go ahead and pop that on infantry equipment. We're making more pushes now. Uh, we did run out of steel, so we'll go ahead and export to the Commune of France, or import, I guess you could say. Might as well push while they're, you know, attacking us. We got another decryption against us. Yay. Actually, we could probably create an agency now. Uh, I know it's a little late, but better than never. We are still pumping out units, which is awesome. We are positive now in the infantry equipment. Alright, we got the night vision, so that should help with land attacks. Let's see. Could get uh, anti-tank. That would probably help. At least against their mechanized and... Um, got more military factories. Another one on... Let's start doing artillery, I think. 
And of course, we got more convoy or dockyards, not convoys. We're just gonna keep on through into convoys. There's really no point in us to do anything else. We're not really a sea-wearing nation, I guess you could say. Oop. Okay, a lot of things just happened. Fall of Washington. We knew that was coming. We'll take a look at that. In just, we'll take a look at that in just a second. The Bahartia Commune has has been annexed. Uh, princely Federation took nine states. Burma took one state. Uh, we'll have to make sure that they're not bordering us, which they're not, so perfect. But they're back! Oh, boy. Okay, well, looks like that thing will stop for now. They shouldn't have any divisions, I don't think. Or, who knows, maybe they do. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the... United States, see what's going on. American Union State obviously just took Washington, D.C. They're about to take Philadelphia and New York, or part of New York, I guess. Yeah, so we will see. I mean, they've, they've won the Civil War. Uh, at this point, I don't know if they're going to join, um, like, the Entente or anything. I really hope they don't. Um, we're really going to have to see where their allegiance lies. Also, if you guys want to see more content on the channel, uh, not just necessarily Hearts of Iron or maybe even a different se or yeah, different series or anything like that, um, I am looking kind of to expand a little bit uh, in terms of playing different games, maybe even uh, uploading different kinds of content for you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I know we have talked about, or a couple people have commented uh, in regards to the next series I should do, uh, it being um, Road to 56 mod in the modern against Germany. Uh, so let me know all your guys' thoughts on that. Um, anything else uh, is kind of... <clears throat> we'll have to feel out. Um, my whole fan base is based around Hearts of Iron, uh, and that's completely fine. You know, I do love it. Like I said, I do enjoy the game completely. Uh, just trying to also expand as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um... Leave in the comments below. I don't know if I'm going to do a... I might do a poll again once um, once the series ends, like, like I did last time. Um, and yeah, like I said, just kind of let me know what you guys are thinking. Alright, so we have a peace deal. We have Treaty of Kiev. Commune of France took 35 states. German Syndicalist Republic took 10 states. Workers State of Britain took 13. I don't want to even look at what's about to happen. Ukraine was annexed, Don Host, Cuban Republic annexed. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, why does Britain own that? And the commune of France is just. Ugh. This is just so disgusting. Anyway, we're kind of hoping at this point that the. Uh, the syndicalists will come in. Okay, I just gotta double check that there's no one that we're immediately at war with. I keep checking this just because I want to be sure. No harm in that. Uh, we are at war with the... Oh, I guess... Oh, yeah, we are at war with the Reichspact. That makes sense. We'll go ahead and do Excavation 4. Why not? Oh, okay. Well, they made a uh, <coughs> puppet state. That makes me feel a little bit better. It looks better. Like, a whole lot better. Commune of France still wants to own this, huh? Okay. Interesting. So basically what I think is going to happen, I think the Commune of France is going to declare war on the Eurasian Union. And this is kind of what we're hoping for, to be honest. Uh, we're hoping that the Eurasian Union, or the Commune of France, rather, will take Petrograd, they'll take Moscow, they'll take all these victory points over here. And I mean, if you think about where we started, we started right here. So all of this was us. I mean, I want to give. Mon I don't. I'm not giving Mongolians that credit, to be honest. So we are getting close to uh, being at the Urals. Well, actually, I guess we. I mean, we are at the Urals. We're pushing into the South Urals. If we could push that mountain tile, that'd be awesome. Oh, you dick! Oh God! <sighs> well. Oh boy, that ruins everything. Why? 
I'm not joining that war. Like, I am really not joining that war. Unless they join the Entente, then I have no option. Oh, I cannot believe they did that. Oh, that makes me want to cry. I need the I need the French to come in. Okay, well, due to unforeseen circumstances, if this whole series just kind of ends, that's going to suck. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good time to end the episode. Oh, I cannot believe they did that. Um, yeah, but like I said, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a different game or a different series uh, ran alongside this one. Um, and like I said, I kind of... I've seen comments uh, in regards to the next series we should do after this one. Uh, and I do appreciate the feedback on everyone's uh, point of view. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, and hopefully we don't die. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.